What's up, guys? Welcome back to another LGGX showcase. Uh, this here is finally Red Dead Redemption, the game that I've got a lot of requests to show on this TV. Uh, just came out on Game Pass today, and luckily I have Game Pass. So, downloaded it, and I just started it up, and this is the uh, first screen we see here. This is the HDR calibration screen. So, the HDR style, it says, is cinematic, and that is the default art directed style peak brightness is locked if you go to game mode then it just phew, super contrasty so uh, i'm gonna say no to that now once we're in cinematic cool right we're good let's go into the uh game settings of this amazing tv we're in the game mode of course we're in hdr picture mode we're going to be at 100 contrast but OLED light is 85 since I'm in a dark room and I'm sitting five feet away from it. You guys can decide on what OLED light suits you. Brightness 50, 13 sharpness. I've had 13 locked in there for quite a while. I'm very happy with it. 55 color. Now, the big question is dynamic tone mapping, HGIG, HDR, gaming interest group. Are they interested in tone mapping Red Dead Redemption? Let's see. If we turn it off, nothing happens. HGIG and off are the same. Nothing is activated. Now, it could be because it's Xbox, right? I've heard something about PS4 and Xbox. They have different HDR settings. I don't know. Maybe. If we go to dynamic tone mapping on, whoa, we got contrast but not as much as the uh, game mode of the HDR style. So without having the game mode, HDR style blowing out the contrast, the uh, dynamic tone mapping on makes the cinematic look brighter. So dynamic tone mapping on Xbox, it does something with on, but it absolutely does nothing with HGIG. So for Xbox games, on is the only real benefit. Where HGIG works a little bit on the uh, PS4. So I don't know, you te technical guys out there, if you know the difference between uh, Xbox and PS4 as far as the HDR modes go, you can chime in in the comments. But for me, I'm going to leave it on on because at least that, that does something for the picture. So there we go. HGIG is off on this one. Uh, white balance run warm one. And picture options... Auto black level and no true motion is enabled on Xbox, only for PS4 Pro for some reason. Another thing that PS4 Pro and Xbox differ is the true motion um, is, is uh, grayed out on Xbox. All right, so let's, uh, let's begin. <laughs> the game definitely has better weather, uh, winter weather effects than Days Gone and Horizon Zero Dawn for sure. Now the blue is just adding to the, uh, the camera is adding the blue to the snow. The snow does not look this blue in real life. It's more of a, a grayish pale white. So that, never mind the, uh, the blueness.
me do the talking. We don't want to scare these folks. Sounds like quite the party. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty-looking degenerates. Micah, I'm behind that wagon. Arthur, you take that old shed on the left and stay low, both of you. It's cross. See, they continue with that way. Shotgun from your horse. Who knows what's up ahead? Get back on there. All right, John, come on. Let's get you on that horse. from those wolves? Nope. It's a beautiful game, guys. This TV shows every detail and quality. Nice smooth picture, crisp graphics, sharp, great color, no blooming in the contrast, good depth. Maybe I should take the lead on this. Amazing. They're going to be gunning for you. Ready to make the move. Oh yeah, headshot. Oh yeah, yeah. I think that's all of them. Search the bodies. Strip everything we can from them. <laughs> all he cares about is numbers. This scene here definitely is not blue. It is 
a light gray. Dang, this game. Are you kidding me? There's some detail in this game. Much more than Days Gone. Much more than Horizon. Nice to see some green. Are you serious? Is this a thing? Real world, real problems here, huh? Fixing the carriage. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. Observations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the. This is an incredible looking game. Uh, I, uh, I'm pretty blown away right now. If I had this TV when this game came out, I probably would have bought it. Just for the visual splendor that I'm enjoying at the moment here. Wow. This looks almost real life, man. This is incredible. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls, our kind of place. Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. Wow. And this place for gold. Wait, what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? All right, we finally made it. So we def we uh, finished chapter one, and now I can actually roam around. Not in winter. Nothing at all. For the first time in weeks, nothing. We're free. We're free to plan our own futures once more. I hope so, Dutch. You kept the faith, Arthur. Incredible looking game, guys. LG OLED, and this game is a fine pair, indeed. Your beard is getting long. You can use a shaving kit besides a tent, visit your barber. Wow. What can I say, guys? This game is pretty spectacular looking. I mean, the foliage, the trees, the wind, the clouds, the trees, all the animals scurrying around. Every detail uh, has been uh, definitely cared for. 
And uh, yeah, this game looked better than anything shown on the Xbox Series X reveal today. <laughs> wow. Cool. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching this video. Uh, like, subscribe, share. This is the showcase of Red Dead Redemption 2 on the LG GX OLED. Wow. I want to thank uh, the, the few Raph Cave Club members that have uh, said I have to play this game on this TV. And thank you for uh, pushing me towards it. And also thanks for Game Pass uh, for releasing this game today. All right, guys. Thanks for checking this out. You have a wonderful day. Home Theater rules. LG OLED rules. This game is wow. Pretty damn cool. All right, guys. Have a great day. See you. Bye. Thank you.